and it's ready to go. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another tier list uh, video. Today we got uh, Mario games this time around, but I brought a uh, special guest with me. Would you like to introduce yourself? Hello, everybody. My name is CJax. Zeke and I have known each other for, has it been two or three years? I think we'll just say two and a half, just to be safe. Okay. And now it's time to finally know each other about oh yeah mario games <laughs> i didn't even think all right so yeah i uh c jacks he really wanted to do this uh tier list with me uh, apparently he's, he's had problems with my previous tier list so he wants to kind of teach me how to do tier lists i guess well no not really i just suggested you bring on a partner and then you offered me yeah so i, I just kind of <laughs> took it all right, so let's get started here. We have, uh, as you can see, we have five tiers right here, and then we have a six never played. I feel it's just it's fair not to judge things we've never played. Fair enough. So you said you've never played Super Mario Run, correct? Nope, I have not played that game. All right, so we'll put that in there because I haven't played it either. I've only played the first three levels that the free one gave you. Uh, there are two others in here that I haven't played, but since you've played them, we'll uh, keep them in the tier list, as long as at least one of us has played it. Okay. I think that's fair. So, let's just go down the list right here. Super Mario Maker 2. D. A D tier, really? That game pisses me off so much. Do you have any do you have any idea how many just levels that are in there just designed to frustrate people? <laughs> See, the the game is great. But you know what? The community gives it. You guys did this. You guys did this to this game. You gave it a D. All right. This is your fault. I was. I'm willing to give it like a B. I like, disagree. The user generated content. Yes, it's insane, and crazy. But like all the, like it's such a step up compared to the Super Mario Maker one. Like I can honestly uh, see Super Mario Maker like the first one being maybe D. Or D. You know what? I'm going to vote for it to stay in D just because of how angry those games make me. Okay, you know what? Since I say B, you say D, let's split the difference, put it at C. Fair? I don't like it, but fine. Okay. <laughs> uh, you have to agree that all the like tools in that game are pretty cool. Like all the okay, new, yeah, that, new every, stuff. Every, it, is a good, it is a good, well-designed game. But the community, with their love to make frustrating levels, to, 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 no. I... I mm. You can just blame the pre uh, the people that created uh, Kaizo Mario for Super Mario World. Maybe I will. Yeah, we can blame them. All right, the next one is Super Mario Odyssey. I'm giving All this right, one I, S tier. I, I, think, I, I think we can both agree S tier for that. That's my favorite 3D Mario World. Like 3D Mario game. I was about to say, Mario World I don't think is a 3D game. No, it's not. I mean, I'm just saying that is my favorite 3D Mario game. Okay. The controls are perfect. They're, it's kind of like the... Uh, it has a high skill ceiling, ceiling with the controls, you know? It does. And once but you, you don't have to be a master to actually beat the game, which is nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, exactly. And I know a lot of people have uh, complaints about the 999 moons in the game. I don't really see a problem with it. Like, some of them are kind of easy to find, but some of them you really have to dig and kind of work for. I can see how that gets annoying, but I bought a huge uh, guidebook for the game when it came out, so oh, I guess that's, I had an advantage. That is awesome. Uh, have you tried? Have you beat the the darkest side? No, oh. I haven't gotten that far. Oh, I, you gotta do that. I haven't played the game since like I finished my YouTube series on it, like from long, long ago. Oh, I see. So well, I might, I might just, uh, I might just start a new file and play it again. Do that, and then once you get We're 500... We're all fucked in quarantine right now, so why not? <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah, get to five... It's, I think, 500 moons, and it's the darkest side, and it's a extreme challenge. Ooh, it's all right. a lot of fun. All stream right. Stream material. Yes, definitely stream material, especially if people want to see you, uh, like, rage. Okay, I can't I can't promise the stream will last long, then. <laughs> I, have a ba I have a bad habit of rage quitting. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, Super Mario 3D World. What was your opinion on it? Uh, I liked it, to be honest. I can see why, like, some people may have found it in a little... Eh. So I'd say I'd vote for a B tier. Honestly, I did not like that game at all. Oof. I really? wasn't... Like, like, at all? 
I mean, I got some enjoyment, like, at all is probably a little too harsh. I just didn't really enjoy the game. It's, it's not that... I didn't really I didn't really have a lot of fun with it, you know? I think it's something about, like, the... It's not quite 3D, it's not quite 2D, it's kind of like some kind of weird isometric thing going. I, I kind of get it. I think it's just, it's just weird, in my opinion. But you said a B tier? Uh, yeah, I said B. Hmm. Okay, we'll just put a B tier, just to be... Oh, not a B. Alright, new Super Mario Bros. U. Uh, you know what? I really... I have enjoyed the, the Mario game... The 2D Mario games on home consoles, so I'm gonna vote A. Honestly, this one... Yeah, A. I'm tr I'm 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 torn between a B, B or A. I'm just gonna put A. I think it's a good game. I think the new series of games really kind of outstay their welcome by this point. Okay. You know, actually, now that I think about it, I think a new Super Mario Bros. Wii deserves the A. That one probably deserves the B. Okay. So we'll do that, and then boop, right there. Yeah, the new Super Mario Bros. Wii was definitely kind of. It was still kind of new at that point. New suit the main you. Gripe, well, I was going to say, the main gripe I have with these games is that you can't take Yoshi anywhere except the levels he's in. Yeah, that does suck. They That's did not... That's so lame. I think because they were trying to, like, uh, make it so that you, four players can play in every single game, uh, every single level, and then adding Yoshi in there was just another added uh, thing of uh, just complexity. Just something we could put on the cover. Right. That's it. <laughs> But I, we can both verify that this game, both any of these games, or well, the, just the new games, the new Super Mario games, are not for player. <laughs> we played them on stream while, during our trip in LA, and oh my god, we kept killing each other over and over again. I and think... one of our friends, Hack Game, was purposely killing us <laughs> just to try and get a reaction out of us. Hack, if you're watching this, I still haven't forgiven you for that, you bastard. <laughs> Yeah, it's the whole pickup mechanic is supposed to be like, oh, little Timmy can't get past this platforming portion. Let me pick well, him up. Well, guess what? Little Timmy's going in a hole. <laughs> Yeet. But no, everyone just starts yeeting each other once they figured it out. I don't know if that was their intention or not, but I like to believe it was. I don't, I don't know. Uh, yeah, that, they, they, that's probably what they were going for, but uh, now little Timmy got buried in a hole, so... Uh, you know what, little Timmy? At least little Timmy fell from an A tier or a B tier hole, you know? That's fine. There's no there's no shame in that. So, Ma Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2. Let's... 1 and 2? Yeah, we got 1 right here and then 2 right here. We're doing the same... We're doing them at the same time. Okay, 2 just... definitely gets an S tier from me. You like two more than one? Yes. Oh, really? Uh huh. I like one more than two. I've never. I. I don't think I've ever beaten two. Really? Yeah, and I think I've beaten Galaxy, like the first Galaxy. I think I even did like the Luigi Galaxy, even like the Luigi wow. side of it. I think I, mean, I haven't. I haven't hundred percented either of these games though, so. I think I think I've 100 percent Galaxy. I'm not too sure though. It's tough. I am, they're both tough I am games. More than, I'm more than fine in giving them both S tiers though, because they're great. They are really great games. Since you, uh, I'm, I'm giving it both of us. Like this is my choice of the S tier, and then this is your choice of the S tier. So I think that's definitely fair. Because I would put Galaxy 2 on A. So it's not that, that big of a jump. No, like, the music of those games was just beautiful. Oh my god, the music was fantastic. I love the music. That That is the best part. I think that's the I thing listened, that's... I listened to Puzzle Plank Galaxy soundtrack go on my way to work, like, at least two times out of the week, every week. Oh wow, nice. You know, it, I... it's, it just always puts me in a cheery mood. I have to remember this point so I could play that music at this point in the background. All right, so we're going to the classics now. Super Mario Bros. 3. Hmm. Ah, uh, well, I have a bit of a bias against the NES games. I Well, maybe not really a bias, but uh, th there are things about the NES games that I don't like. Makes sense. Uh, Mario Bros. 3, I'd put in B. 
I think that's totally fair. I really don't like the NES, like how a, a lot of its games had like these cryptic things that you had to like play again and again and again and again to try and figure out. It's like some of this stuff you would never figure out. Like, like even in the original Super Mario Bros, when you have to go on that specific pattern, uh, how how is anybody really supposed to figure it out? How are they supposed to uh, like? Go a trillion times going like, oh, first I gotta go down, then up, then middle, then down, then fucking whatever the pattern was. Yeah, I it's know like which the, one you're You have like about. a 1%, maybe a 0.1% chance of figuring that out without knowing it's a thing. No, I think it, the crypto-ness of like the NES games, it's just a product of its time because of the fact that... I know. Uh, yeah, just... I, I don't know. And I think three uh, Mario 3 is probably the best of the NES games. Oh, it definitely is, but even it had its cryptic points. Mm-hmm. I mean, I thought the whistles were pretty cool, and I thought I was so cool when I finally figured them out, and which just basically entailed me YouTubing it, but still felt super cool. All right, so Super Mario Sunshine, one of the most decisive games on this list. Ooh, yeah. Um, I have I'm, I'm such really, a bias I'm... against this game. I mean, with this I... game. I wouldn't say that because like I'm honestly like I want to I wish there was a spot in between B and C because that would be the perfect place for it. I can create that. Let's create that real quick. No, don't create. Don't create that now. That's cheating. No, we're, I'm just going to edit it, it and then we have a new uh, thing. No, that's cheating. Stop oh, come it. on. OK, so I say I mean, I was watching you uh, play uh, Sunshine. And I'll yeah. be completely honest, I'm like, how are you not getting it? But at the same time, how am I, how am I not getting it? How am I not getting it? Because those fucking pirate ship roller coaster things are bullshit. That's how. I think it's just because of the fact that I've played that game so often. Like, that was my first GameCube game. So, over the course of everything I've done in the GameCube, I've always played that game. I've gotten, like, various different spots. Like, I've gotten to, like, the bout, like, being Bowser getting stuck at several different things. Like, I've been stuck in that uh, red coin on the pirate ship before, like, as a kid. Oh, I and hate that level. I, uh, Sunshine, I do know for a fact I 100% in that game, which is, like, chaotic. Not worth your time, too. I'm going to give that one a C, yeah. Okay. My mind. I, I was going to go with... I was going to go B, just so I could get the nostalgia out of there, but I think C is totally fair. It is a extremely is it's janky the game is janky yeah all right the first super mario maker i think we've already talked about that you wanted to put that d correct yeah let's just it, it just it just, it just needs to sit there it, it's 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 not you super mario maker it's it's your community i thought that w that game had the best use of the wii u gamepad though okay that's fair it did that is the it is the best. You, yeah. It I don't like making levels on Mar Mario Maker 2 because I miss the game the gamepad so much. Like it just was the, like the perfect way to uh, make game uh, levels with. If it. only Nintendo allowed people to like monetize content back when the Wii U was a thing. Mhm. Mm oh, the, that game uh, would Super off. Mario Maker would have been like huge. Like it probably could have been Almost as big as Minecraft, maybe. Or, well, maybe it'd be up there. It'd be definitely up there. Yeah, I think that's why uh, Mario Maker 2 is still kind of in the, like, kind of pop culture. Like, people talk about it still. Because people do series with Mario Maker 2. Still to this day. All right, so su a new Super Mario Brothers 2. The one with the coins. I've never played this game, so it's totally up to you. Uh... I did kind of like the game, but like the whole gimmick of the game was uh, it, it, it's definitely something that belongs on a portable console. It, the whole gimmick is grab the coins, grab all the coins you can. Every thousand coins now means a one up. So, oh, holy crap. I, I, if, if for people who like collecting the coins, I was, I was about to say, actually, this game would probably be your best friend. But no, if you're like 100 percent or collect every single coin, this game is your absolute hell. <laughs> Based on what I heard, this game pretty much spawned the whole, like, challenge uh, in video game thing. Like, 
like people try to run this game with collecting as little coins as possible. They're, Ooh, they're like saying, you know what? I gotta watch one of those. That actually sounds fun. They're but like, yeah, this game, uh, other than the, other than the, other than collect coins, I don't remember. It definitely wasn't a bad game. Do you think we should put D tier then? No, 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 not D tier. No, that's far too low. Uh, C. Though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a C. Yeah. Okay. All right, that that sounds fair. I think C kind of is like the either it's forgettable or there's just something holding it back from being the top. Because I think C is like C is C. There's no like. There's no you, you bad can't really Mario. You can call a Mario game bad. There's no bad Mario. Okay, well, no, I, I need to take that back right now. But none of these <laughs> uh, games are bad. So that's why this, this list is a bit difficult. Oh, uh, it is difficult. It's a difficult list, and that's why it kind of looks a little janky. <laughs> maybe once we see, get the other. To, I was hoping to see things like maybe Hotel Mario or Mario Teaches Typing in this list as well, because that would have <laughs> added some flavor. This is just like all these games... I the, like part of me still likes these games, except you, Super Mario Maker. You sit in that corner and you think about what you did. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, you and your hatred of user-generated content. All right, so Super Mario Bros. 2, before we go on, fun fact, did you know that that game used to be Doki Doki Panic? I think everybody in the gaming community knows this by now. I know, that, that's the joke. Everyone's acting like it's the big hottest thing. Like, did you know that this game was ported? And every single time I would say Doki Doki, I want to say Literature Club and vice versa. <laughs> like when I play, uh, like I uh, talk about Literature Club, I say Panic. It's, I hate the, both of them for that reason, for making me do that. But okay, so, Mario 2, what, what, what do you think? Well, given that it's an NES game, I would say C, but should we should we put it should we just leave it because it's not technically a Mario game? It is a Mario game though. It gave us like some of like some important aspects of Nintendo games or Mario games in general. Like they gave us Sniffits and Shy Guys and Ninjis. But is it a Mario game? Is it, the debate we're gonna have for the rest of time. It is a Mario game in my opinion. Because in right, the fine. 80s... I'll give it... I'll, I'll vote C. I was saying either C or D. I think D is a little too low for it. I'd say C. C? Okay. That's fair. It, it is still a fun game. I... S okay, so what is your reasoning why you don't think it's a Mario game? I mean, I, I'm, I'm kind of on the fence about it. I see why some people don't consider it a Mario game. I see why people do consider it a Mario game. At the end of the day, it's the same as Doki Doki uh, Panic. I almost said Literature Club. I know, right? It's so easy. But it, it's the, all that happened were the sprites were changed. Right. And it's it's weird. But then I also I also see the side that's like, oh, but we wouldn't have the Shy Guys or Birdo without. Or, well, who gives a crap about Birdo, honestly? Uh, I don't know, honestly. <laughs> Yeah, it's so just... you know what? That's a discussion we can have another time. <laughs> what is Birdo? <laughs> it's just a theory. <laughs> a uh, game, game theory. theory. Oh my gosh, what is Birdo? That's just like a <laughs> clickbait video all Wait, of itself. Wait, did he actually make that? No, <laughs> I wish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is Birdo? <laughs> what is Birdo? <laughs> just have an existential crisis about hmm, Birdo. Well, it's certainly not a bird. Or but I dough. can see where the O on its face comes from. <laughs> it's got a giant hole in its face. See? Do you know does that Birdo like is suck, a male? Does it like suck uh, bacteria out of the air and digest it? This is dumb. This is dumb. Let's move on. Okay. Uh, Super Mario Brothers. The original. The OG. C. C? Holy crap. Okay. Well, actually, you know what? I'll give it a B. I'll be nice to it. Okay. I say B. I mean, what what else can we say about it? Honestly, there really isn't anything left to say. It's a great game. It's I wouldn't call it great, but it's good. Well, for its time, it's great. Okay, sure. Yeah, it's the grandpappy of the modern platformer. True. Like this game kind of started it all, and now the official sequel to it, the the real Mario Two. Please stand up. The Lost D. Levels. You said D? I said D. Oh. I don't like that game. 
Okay, I'll be completely honest. I have tried, uh, like, beating this game, like, Warpless. The f okay, here, here's a story for you. you in uh, this game, five two, level 5-2 is a cave level. And it has, like, a, a pipe warp. Oh, no, not 5-2. It's 5-3, I think. It has a... It's, like, outside... Uh, it's an outside level. It has a trampoline where you can jump over the flagpole. So I jumped over the flagpole. I'm like, oh, I wonder what's over here. There's a warp pipe that takes you all the way back to level uh, world one. Oh! This game is an absolute troll. Oh, that's that is painful. I was, oh. I was like 14 <laughs> playing this game on the Wii, and I I I just stopped playing it for like a couple months after that. I I I know like. I bought this game on the Wii back in the day because I actually thought it was the original Super Mario Bros. by mistake. <laughs> and I realized, wait, this game doesn't look the same. Oh, well, maybe it's still fun. Oh my god, I never made it past World 4. I think, all things considered, because I like tough platformers, I've only gotten to, uh, like, World 7 is the farthest I've been. And, that, and then afterwards, I'm just, you know what? I can't take this anymore. <laughs> exactly. Maybe one day I'll take on the lost levels again. You have fun with that. <laughs> I, like I said, I have fun with like tough platformers, so it might be kind of fun. Well, fun in like kind of quotation marks. Yeah. Okay, the original new Super Mario Brothers on the DS. I'm gonna give this an A tier. Hmm, I'm a little on the fence about the A tier. I thought it was a lot of fun whenever I, whenever I had it. That was it was it was like if I remember correctly, that was the first 2D game in like ten or so years. They did a lot of like the 3D uh, stuff, and then they added like the blue shell. They added the super mushroom, which was only in like four stages, but we don't talk yeah, about the, that. The blue shell, too, it was only, like, in ten stages, I think. Yeah, but you can keep that blue shell and take it to other stages. Fair point. I'm giving it an A tier. I thought it was a lot a lot of fun. Mm, okay, I'll, I, I can I can accept an A tier for it. I'm not going I'm not going to go crazy and say it's an S tier game. It's, it's definitely A tier. Especially since it's the beginning of the New Soup series. Fair enough. Uh, Super Mario 3D Land. Fun? I'm giving this D. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I did not like this game. Ooh, that's a, that sounds a little harsh, honestly. I mean, it's kind of, it kind of had the same problems with uh, 3D World. I just wasn't a fan of it. I, I, I my, main, my only gripe with it is that it was a little too easy, so I'd say I would give it C. C okay, we'll we'll do C since you're the guest. You're supposed to fight me on this. <laughs> I want fights. I thought I just to me, like this is the unpopular opinion time. I wasn't a big fan of like I'm not a big fan of any of like the portable consoles. Like I thought the really 3DS was pretty cool. And new soup uh, like uh, Super Mario 3D Land was like one of my first 3DS games. And I just didn't like the whole, like, like kind of twisting the console to kind of move, like, kind of look around type thing. And I, I just felt it wasn't, it was more like a tech demo than a game, in my opinion. At least that's how I felt about it. I, I can see where you're coming from. And I just didn't, I don't really remember anything except for, like, probably the first level, which was, like, kind of, like, they always do this thing with the first level of any game. They try to make it as beautiful and memorable as possible and oh, i think yeah. it, was, it had like you started on elevation you got to see all the way down to the end so you can constantly got to see your goal ahead of you i thought that was pretty cool but i don't remember anything else so i'm i honestly i'm i'm i want to put a d just for I that he's a, a little too harsh for that game what did you like about the game I honestly, uh, I just had a fun time with the gameplay, to be honest. 
Like I know, I know it was a little easy, but I also thought it was pretty relaxing. Hmm. I think it's a relaxing game. Maybe it's not. It's not overly challenging. Or no, it's not challenging at all. Actually, it's really just a relaxing game. Didn't they have the special levels at the end? I believe they did. Yeah, I got to I got to the end, and then I saw like some special levels. I went ahead and did the special levels, like some of them. I'm just like, this isn't. I don't like this. I don't know. I think C. We'll just keep it there. Yeah, we'll keep it there. Here's the one I think will cause debates. What is your opinion on Super Mario 64? Okay, so I have a little bit of a. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Like not botched, but. Uh, imperfect experience with the game the problem with the game is i i didn't get like the actual n64 version until recently actually it was only a few years ago my whole uh experience with mario 64 was the ds version where you could play as yoshi luigi and wario as well mm -hmm. that was uh i would honestly if that game was in this list i would give it probably an a tier for this game Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I, I know C C is pretty full right now, but I feel like it kind of does. Maybe it maybe it belongs there, or maybe it can pass off as B. B is like the absolute max I would go for this game. I'm not putting it above C. I'm I not. Guess C, I guess C it goes. <laughs> I'm, this game. Well, it sounds to me like you wanted to put that down in D. Why is that? <laughs> I just do not like this game. Like. I have, I'm in the same boat with you. So, little story. Everyone, like, I, I am a millennial, and the millennial's console was the Nintendo 64. Well, as, as a kid, my first console was actually the Super Nintendo. So that's why I like a lot more, like, I guess that's why I kind of grew up, I grew up with more 2D games than I did 3D games. So, like, t 2D Mario. So whenever I finally found like Mario for the third dimension, I never played it on the Nintendo 64. I played it on the DS, just like you. And I'm like, this is no good. I don't like it. I, I spent more time with those mini games that was included in that game than the actual game. Remember those with like the, remember, I remember. like- the... Luigi teaches gambling, <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> That's how I learned about gambling. That and the fact <laughs> that we play blackjack every uh, New Year's Eve. But no, that's I. I spent more time on the th the Mario sixty four DS game playing those mini games than I did with the actual game. And then I went ahead and bought it on the Wii, like the virtual uh, the virtual shop, and just never got into it. And I think just the graphics, I don't really like it. I'm not a big fan of three uh, D platformers, which is weird that I put like Mario Odyssey in S tier because. Like that's the first Mario, uh, like three D Mario game. That I'm like, the entire yes, this is S perfect. tier is the entire S tier is three D platformers. Yeah, but Galaxy isn't the same as like a uh, sixty four though. It's kind of linear. Okay, fair. So I mean, yeah, it is three D, but I don't know. Just I thought Mario, uh, like Mario Odyssey, was just a better game. It. I was able to actually control Mario. I knew, like, I was like, Mario, I want you on top of this cliff, and I'm gonna put these inputs in there, and you're gonna be on this cliff. And he got on the cliff. It's Mario 64, it might be just because I'm really bad at the game. I can't get him on the cliff nine out of ten times. There is a there is an art to it, I'd say, but I can. Since you use this defense for the NES game, so I'll use this defense for the 64 game. It was revolutionary for its time. Yes, it is. I don't, uh, just because I hate the game doesn't mean I respect it for what it's done for 3D uh, platforming. Like, no one knew what to do, and then all of a sudden Mario came on the scene like, okay, bitches, let's watch this. I've been doing this all my <laughs> life. <laughs> no, that's it. That funny thing is, that's exactly how it happened. Like all these companies were working on their 3D games, and then Mario comes along, does it completely different from what they were doing. And they're like, okay, scrap, 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 scrap. We gotta, <laughs> we gotta do this again. We gotta actually, we got. Look at what they're doing. Look at what they're doing. Look at what they're doing. They're gonna, they're gonna make money. We gotta make money too. It's pretty much, yeah. Everything. It, it, it's funny. Everything Mario pretty much is like. Uh... Like they created the 
like the goalpost for it, you know? And then every other 3D platform for the next, like, I'd say probably up to five years, use the Super Mario 64, like 64's uh, groundwork, to create a platformer of the 3D. Probably wasn't the best choice in the long run, but you know what? I, um, all right, C. C. It stays at C, I guess. We'll, we'll stay at C, yeah. I say that's fair. Just for its its grand, is like the, just how great it was for the industry for 3D platformers, because otherwise we would still be in who knows where. <laughs> all right, so the Game Boy games, the Super Mario Land. I've only played gonna, one I'm, level of this game. Yeah, I'm, it's, it's honestly not that special. Uh, D tier? Uh, well... God, now I really wish there was a... Okay, yeah, you know, I'm gonna... I would give... I would give both... Uh, well... I don't know, I, w I wanna say, like, D-tier may be a little too harsh for it, but at the same time... It, the, we're allowed to put our own opinions, that's what these tier lists are about. So, like, the thing about it is... It is a game that's, like, easy to pick up and just play, so... It was created for the Game Boy, so that was their intention. You know what, actually, I'll, get, I'll give it a D. D? Alright. Alright, Super Mario Land 2, the six golden coins. That one I never actually beat, but, you know, I did play a bit of it, and it definitely was better than the first one, so I'd just give that one a C. I got this game free. It was a uh, part of the uh, back when Club Nintendo was still around. I had some extra points, so I was like, oh, I've never played this game. Let me uh, pick it up. And it was just all right. So Honestly, C. I think C is fine. Oh, not B. Get out of there, imposter. All right, so... Oh, he, he, j he just wants to be liked. I mean, he gets the C tier. He's right next to Super Mario 64. So how how sad can he be? Well, C is the fourth lowest on the list, but uh, hmm, whatever. Uh, whatever, C. You you get a C in a test, and you're like, oh great, I passed. Fair, fair point. <laughs> hey, you know what? A D is a passing score too. So we had no failures technically, except for you, Super Mario Maker. I'm looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we're talking uh, like high school, like public school, that's that's fair. But with uh, college, C is the last passing grade. Man, college sucks. Yeah, I had a uh, program that uh, you had to get a C plus. So if you got a C, you failed. See, kids, this is why I always say college is a scam. All right, Super Mario World. A. I'm putting this S. Mm, no, I'm not. I'm not it is the best that. 2D Mario game, hands down. Mm, the best. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't know about that one. I, the I, music I still. It's, it's a very good game, I will say, but I think it belongs in A. The music is still top tier. It introduced secret paths. No, all right, you know what? No, 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 no. Hold on a sec. The music is the same track like almost every single level. Yeah, and okay, it's so I get it. Good. The game was a little rushed. The game was a little rushed, but even still, like, oh my god. Eventually, I got a little tired of hearing the same song over and over and over again. Weren't you playing the platforming and you didn't even notice the music? What are you talking about? I don't know. The, the music's like probably <laughs> one of five sounds that plays at the level at a time. That's fair. Uh, I don't know. Just, I think the sprite, the, they're the best sprites in the game. Like, the characters and stuff like that. It introduced Yoshi. That's always a plus. It just it took everything from, like, Super Mario Bros. 3 and just cranked it up to 11. It just... It was a mm. great game. It's a good game, yeah, but I, I don't think... I don't think it belongs in S. I think it belongs solid in A. I don't know. 96 levels. Have you ever beat... Have you ever played the special levels? Uh, no. Hmm. It took me, it took me forever to figure out there were actually, like, eight special levels in the game. You know what, we'll just go A. You know what, you win, Mr. Man. Yes. <laughs> I still think it belongs up there with, like, Galaxy, Galaxy 2, and Odyssey. But, you know what, I'm gonna put it, it is an A+. That's an A-plus <laughs> game. Alright, I'll, I'll accept that. 
All right, so here is our list of all the Mario games. Let us know what you think. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people here, especially with the placement of 64. That will be angry at us, but you know what? Let us know in the comments what you think. Uh, CJX, thank you so much for uh, joining me with this. Anytime. All right. Well, I hope you all enjoyed. If you liked the video, press the like button, all that good stuff. But uh, we'll see you next time. Peace. Thank you. Thank you, Zeke, for having me. And I will, uh, well, we'll see you guys probably in a stream. Yeah, stream. Woo!